Every after 10 years, the country conducts the national population and housing census in order to get figures that are critical in guiding planning, policy formulation and programming in line with national goals. Minister for Information and National Guidance, Chris Bariomzi, has rallied the population to embrace the exercise. Because the various questions which will be asked refer to the conditions people live in. For instance, we shall be asking people the level of education. And then we shall be able to know how many people are educated to this level, how many people are not educated, uh, access to services. And now once we have compiled this information and analyzed it, then we shall look at what is available, what's not available, what do people need, and how does government now plan for this population? He stresses that the exercise will not be conducted at night, and therefore people need to be conscious of unscrupulous people. At 6 a.m., so there is no enumeration at night, except if it's an appointment. For instance, the, some of us who are busy with a lot of work, the enumerators might come, maybe find I'm not at home. I could say, come back at 8 through an arranged process, they can come at night. But otherwise, ordinarily, there will be no enumeration at night. It will be carried out during the day, except for what we call the floating population. Because there are those who will be traveling at night in the buses. Uh, there are street children. This is someone told me even they are not, they are even street adults. But people who stay on the streets, uh, those may be captured at the night. These numerators will be moving with the guides. The guides are the local leaders, especially from ROC1 committee, who know the homes, who can also help identify the enumerator and the respondents properly. Private media houses have also been urged to help by reaching the information to the people about the national population and housing census and understanding. It's not that you boss had the money and they have diverted it and that they don't want to pay media houses. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think there was that provision for paying the media houses for that message. But my appeal would be that in the interest of the corporation we have always had with the media, that the media houses should air that message. Minister Bariom C points out that government designated the 10 days and one public holiday to ensure that no house is left behind. Adia Nakuti, UBC.